I'm trying to like double check how my how I'm coming across. Like it's clear on my screen, but my Wi-Fi signal keeps flashing. So let me know if you can hear me okay, if I'm blurry, if I'm cutting out at all. If I am, then I will turn on my hotspot and we'll figure that out for next time. I streamed, I think it was last weekend, two weekends ago, I don't know, with um, Autumn and Brie and Maddie on like the all-nighter stream. But, and I was clear then, but like I can't, I think I'm, let me know, can you hear me? Am I, am I good? I'm watching on my phone, but I wanna make sure I'm not like blurry, cutting in and out and things like that. So, whew, my heart is beating so fast. Hi guys, hello, hey, hi, how are you? Okay, cool, it looks like we are all good. So let me know if that changes. Um, Frozen to Leha. Oh no. Okay. That's weird. But it seems like we're good to the majority. Okay, let me know if that ever changes. I will try out my Y my hotspot if I need to. So we will figure it out. Okay. I'm I'm just like paranoid about it because the Wi-Fi signal up in like this little corner, it keeps popping up and you know, it's just like making me nervous. But I think I'm just gonna try and ignore that. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey, hello. Long time no chat. Uh, I have missed you guys so much. Let me know if you're, um, okay, so it was blurry for a sec. Okay. Okay. So as long as it's just like, you know, I don't know. It makes me just nervous. Anyway, I, I forgot what I was saying, but how are you guys doing? Let me know how your new year has been so far. Um, what you're going to be working on tonight. This is our first stream of the new year. And um, I don't know if I've really announced it announced it yet. Um, my gosh. Okay, so maybe I will just turn it on. For During the first sprint, I'll turn it on. We'll see then. Um, I, keep, I keep looking at the comments. I love you guys. I'm, I'm just... I'm just trying to make sure like I look okay and this just keeps getting me off track. <laughs> um, for the new year, I do want to kind of try and do these every Friday. So um, mark your calendars, 7 p.m. every single Friday. We are going to be writing. Unless something comes up, then I will have to postpone it. But for the most part, we will be writing every Friday. Uh, I'm excited. Oh, I don't even know where to begin with the comments you guys are so oh my gosh there's 64 of you here so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed <laughs> oh i've missed streaming um hello 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 i'm just gonna run through all these because i i, I want i want to say hello to every one of you but we've got so many sweet friends here <laughs> hello 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 Oh, so many people I haven't talked to in so long. I have missed you all. I'm excited to catch up on your um, your writing and see how you guys are doing writing-wise. If you want to just give me like a, a quick rundown of how you've been, let me know. I'd love to hear. I have been busy. If you've noticed, we have a different background. If you watch today's video, you will have seen that we have been indeed busy. Um, that's so weird. I just finished watching your latest video. Hi, sir. I can hear you and see you. Bye. Awesome. Also, thank you for watching today's video. It's gotten a lot of views so far, which is crazy. 
Um, but uh, yeah, um, thank you for watching. Um, uh, there's another comment that I think I'll explain from. Oh my gosh, precious. You are so precious. <laughs> Um, hello, hello, working on a first draft. Ooh, that is exciting. What genre are you working in? Updating my notion. Very good, Amara. I probably should do that myself, but. <laughs> um, okay, so um, editing this video made me cry as well, like several times. It was very emotional and it's been a long time coming. I think I filmed it sort of from the first clip for it. It was like December 26th, maybe. So. It's been kind of crazy, but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm sad that I made you cry, but you know, uh, I, I, you know, <laughs> I've been well. I've been busy. Like I said, um, if you haven't watched today's video, definitely go watch it. Um, it is talking about the end of an era. If you haven't seen that, um, if you haven't seen the title for that video or the thumbnail the end of an era. I am moving out of my she shed. I have been moved out of my she shed for weeks now. No, weeks? A week? A week and a half? I don't know. I've pa I've been packed for a while now. It's been a while. Um, but it's because we have a new little place. Uh, if you want spoilers from Monday's video, you guys came to the right place because I am in an apartment now, so it really is the beginning of a new era. A lot of people have guessed it, but I figured I'm streaming, so like you're gonna see the different background, and I might as well tell you guys and let you in on a little secret. <sighs> oh, I gotta breathe. I am brainstorming and working on finishing something. Oh, something is ominous. I love this. I love it. If you want to keep it secret, that's cool. But if you want to share what that something the something is, let me know. <sighs> Haven't written that much this year, but happy it's the weekends I have time to write. Yes, I agree. I agree. I took the two weeks off between Christmas and two weeks. I took, no. I took December 15th to January 1st off. Of writing and I've been kind of jumping back into it and it feels so good to be back <laughs> uh yes girl let's get the sprint going yes I know I've been needing I've been needing focus time for writing as well so it's gonna be great um I'll probably start the stream in about three-ish minutes I hope everyone is doing well as well I think this is to the every Friday I hope you are here every Friday. I would love to see you, see you and chat with you and watch your progress. I'm working on the second draft of my book. Oh, Lee, that's exciting. Um, did you want to share the genre? If you do, I'd love to know. If you don't, that's totally okay too. <sighs> I've been stuffy. So like I, even though I can now breathe out of my nose, I have allergies. And so it's like, I'm, I'm still struggling to breathe. <laughs> Starting using a new writing program this year and trying to get 5K for the week. Okay, share, Rosalyn, what are your details? What is this new writing program? I would love to know. I'd love to know. Uh, I'm in a writing rut right now. I feel like with the new year, it's so easy to feel like kind of like stuck, which people don't really talk about because people are always like feel the magic of a new year, you know? But for me, I stall out with like huge ambitions and stuff. And I feel like in a writing rut, it's so sad to start off that way. But hopefully tonight um, kind of kicks you into high gear and you can get out of that writing rut, you know? I'll keep my fingers crossed for you, Sky. S spike? Spike. I don't know why I said Sky. I said totally missed. I put the K in the P spot. Spike. Hopefully tonight goes well for you. <sighs> that was so, so funny. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I, you were not even saying hello to me. But I said hello to you. And also hello to Anne. <laughs> Hello, hello, Jennifer, it is so good to see you as well. Oh, I gotta breathe, I gotta breathe. So exciting, I need this motivation, it's been a long week. Oh my gosh, has it ever been? I feel like this week was like several weeks long. I feel like it doesn't feel like the sixth, today is the sixth. It's been so long. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go quicker a little bit now since we're in the rap we'll, we'll rapid fire through a few and then we'll start our first sprint of the night. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
I, I'm glad you were as emotional as I was. <laughs> it's funny because I thought I would cry in that video and I didn't. I just was crying editing it back. So it's like, <laughs> funny. <laughs> so in one of my books, I am finally working towards a climax and introducing some more characters, which is like super exciting. And in my other one, I'm just getting started on the drafts. I love it when there are multiple projects and like when you're working on multiple projects in different stages. I'm the kind of person who can do that. Like right now I'm working on book three and book four, but they're in different stages. Um, I just love multitasking like that. So that's really exciting that you're doing that, Monique. Sarah, hello, outlining a new fantasy work in progress. Ooh, I love it. I love fantasy. I'm excited for you and outlining is really fun. Working on the second draft of my Mafia verse harem that's being published in July. Oh my gosh, July, that's awesome. I feel like I'm being a little bit loud, but you know, I'm probably not that loud. It's only seven, I'm allowed to be loud. <laughs> but that's really exciting, T. I'm really excited to hear more about it. Um, I'm going to work on my romantic fantasy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Haven't had much time to write today. I am ready to get to work. Yes, me too. It's been one of those Fridays. I do have client work that I probably will work on later in the stream, but for the first sprint, I do want to write in honor of our first writing sprints together. Working on revising chapter one of Project Sugar and Spice, my bakery at Rivals to Lovers Work in Progress. Ooh, I love it. I love hearing about that project, Joanne. I love it. BH, hello. I decided to age up all my current projects to new doll, and it's weird, but I'm excited about it. That's an, that, that is, an, that's exciting. Oh my gosh, I would love to hear what made you think you wanted to age it up. Did the story just fit that age group a little bit better? Um, super exciting though. <sighs> Breathe, Ooh. Typing up slash editing some writing I did my hand of a novella I'm sending out to my newsletter subscribers. Oh, that's awesome. I need to get better at my newsletter. Oh. <gasps> My friends, I have a lot of comments. I'm not gonna get through them all. Um, <laughs> I just scrolled to look. I'm not gonna get through them all before we start our first sprint. I'm so sorry. I uh, I have never had this many people on a stream before, I don't think. Thank you guys for coming. Um, If you, I'll, I'll go faster. I love that you're doing this, Kara. I just want to talk to you all. It's so hard. <laughs> I love that you're doing this, Kara. I need to get better with my newsletter, but I love that you're typing out a novella that you did by hand. Working on a fantasy rough draft. Awesome. Monica, hello. Finally got some beta readers who gave me amazing feedback. The next few months are pure editing. Ooh, we love beta reader feedback. It can be daunting, but you're going to crush it. I'm excited to hear how that goes for you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know I was keeping it under wraps, but I just, I don't know. I wanted to get like content made for it, you know, so I didn't want to like, announce it before I had like, I just, I just wanted to kind of like, you know, be a little, I don't know. I don't know what I'm, I'm trying to say, but uh, yeah, and Monday's video. So we're going to talk about that. Um, and you'll find out I'm moving, moving date and stuff like that. So it's going to be really exciting. I think it's a fun video. Oh, I'm going to market it for my June release. Heather, congratulations. I love that for you. Amanda, hello. Uh, thank you, thank you. You guys are so sweet. Yes, yay for a new era. Caitlin, I'm working on Act 2 of my novel today as well as going through beta reader feedback, trying to push through Meet My Deadline, which is February 17th. Ooh, ooh. If you're on Act 2, you're definitely going to crush it. And then tonight's stream will help you even more so. And on that note, let's start our first sprint of the night. I will go through, um, so when the, uh, well, um, I gotta figure out how to do this. Uh, I will go through like these comments once the stream starts and I will give my reactions to them. So um, hopefully that's okay. But I know we have a lot of people here who want to get um, writing. So I want to get you guys working through. Uh, we're going to do 25 minutes. I always do 25 minutes if you're new here. Um, hi, for one, I'm Sarah Sutton. <laughs> I'm a young adult romance author. I've written eight books. Hey, hi, how are you? Um, but we do about four sprints of 25 minutes. So, which uh, probably a lot of you are new because we haven't streamed in like a hot minute. So, it's fine. <laughs> um, oh, 
Oh, this laptop, I have my old laptop, you guys. If you remember, it's the one that is missing its H key. I never gave it to my parents, I still have it. Um, but this laptop is the white screen. It's not dark mode. I'm gonna have to fix that because I do not like light mode. I love me some dark mode. So, <laughs> although this looks kind of cute with the cream, doesn't it? Or the beige color. I don't really know what color this is, but anyway. Ramble City. Okay, shoot. <laughs> 25 minutes on the clock. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like button. And let's see where we end up in three, two, one. And let's go. Happy writing.
All right, so that was the end of our first sprint. Whew. How do we do? How do we do? Oh, 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 hang on. Sorry. I ate blueberries that time, and the last one that I ended on was one that was so icky. It was like so sweet, and I prefer like the more sour blueberries. So that was what that face was for. It was like a you know, it was the one I ended on, so I didn't even have one to, like, take the taste out of my mouth, and it's just, it's fine. <laughs> How do we do? So, for me, I was working in book four for that one, and I have, to, I had to go back because it was a continuity issue for book three. Not necessarily an issue. Um, also, please let me know if I am blurry um, or, like, halty, you know? I have it on my phone, but I just want to make sure it looks good for you guys, too. Not necessarily an issue for the continuity, but uh, it really was, like, so a book force character, like, why was she not in this scene when she should have been in that scene? So, you know, I don't know. But I, I've just was been fixing that. I'm almost done with that scene, so... Um, yeah, that's what I was doing. And then probably, I'm probably going to come back to that sprint and then like fix that scene and then go back and work on book three for the, once I finish that. Um, but I also spent the first five-ish minutes reading your guys' comments. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Okay, let's see where should I, where, where did I leave off at? Oh, uh, Stacy, hello. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you just got here. Um, and that's great that you came in at the end of the sprint, you know? that That's, I'm glad you're here. I feel like I can't really see very well because I was staring at the computer screen. <laughs> I think I got halfway of my outline done. Oh my gosh, you crushed on that screen. You can just see my sports bra strap it's fine it's fine we're just casual over here <laughs> that's awesome you got awesome progress on that sprint um i ended up pausing for a sandwich for most of the time so on my streams when we talk about food um i would love to have some specifics so what kind of sandwich did you eat <laughs> i have a sandwich for me downstairs it's like turkey ham and then like some sort of italian meat that i don't know like, i don't know if it's like pastrami or if it's salami, they all kind of like mix together in my head that I don't really know what they mean. Um, but it's a very good sandwich from Jimmy John's, uh, <laughs> if that helps at all. <laughs> um, but that's it, waiting for me downstairs. I I love it when people tell me what they're having for dinner, especially now, um, now that I am on my own and I need to cook myself dinner. <laughs> 69 words. Oh my gosh, you crushed it, my friend, in the middle of a fun scene right now. Love. It. Oh, I probably should have made sure that everyone said the quality was okay. okay. Did, a, did a quick scroll, but it doesn't look like the quality is bad enough for anybody to comment. So, um, I love fun scenes. How far the way are you in this draft again? I can't quite remember. And I. I apologize in advance. Um, I have the worst memory in the world. So, <laughs> uh, 457 words and tensions are high between Mary, main character and her best friend. Love tension. Love when tension's high. I feel like it's hit or miss with me sometimes. And like, then I'll forget about them for a few days and then I'll come back and they're like all like rotted and it's like, ugh, crap. <laughs> so I don't buy them often, but. Only 253, I kept getting distracted. When you, the first sprint of the night is really hard to kind of like get into the groove of, so I totally understand that. But 253 is a great start. Great start. 407 words after devouring some pizza. Ooh, love pizza, love pizza. Finished outlining episode eight, my go seeing girl cereal. I'm getting these ready to start publishing weekly in February. Oh. Aubrey, are you going to publish them um, on Amazon or are you going to do them in a different way or are you going to do them in Vela? I would love to hear. Do you have, <clears throat> sorry, I should have, it's fine. <laughs> I almost said I should have covered my mouth, but like my germs are not going to get on you guys. 
Do you have any tips on expanding a story? I need to add 10,000 more words to my first draft. Ooh, ooh. Well, normally for me, when I'm trying to bulk up, which is not often because I'm an overwriter for sure, um, I kind of just go back and like see where I can add more detail to like emotions and more emotional depth. But 10,000 is quite a lot. You almost It's almost like adding another subplot length or like a few scenes because it's 10,000. For me, a scene's typically between 1,500 to 2,000 words. So maybe there is a way you can add another subplot if it feels like that's necessary. Um, sometimes the story is told and the word count that it's told in though. So I feel like I don't have great tips, mostly because I am an overwriter. <laughs> I wish, I, I don't wish I were an underwriter, but you know, it's okay. Oh, but good luck on that. Didn't get much written, but I did read through my beta reader feedback and it was so amazing. Not many notes, but lots of reactions to scenes and the reactions I wanted when I wrote the scenes. <gasps> Isn't that the best? Don't you just love it when you have, like, when you see the character react, character, reader reactions, and it's like, oh, hang on, I do this every time. <sighs> it's, it's, it's fine. I forgot to take the banner off, but I will put this one back up. Don't forget to like this stream, my friends. Crap, where'd my comment go? Hang on, I'm coming back. Um, it's always the best when like you get reader reactions. I love it when my editor gives me those. Like, oh, it's just like, oh, it's that hype you need, you know? Seriously. I did see this comment, but I did see you also said, just fix the quality, Never mind. I feel like sometimes when I come back from a sprint, I can be a little blurry. I do remember that in the past. Um, but I'm glad it fixed itself. I, I went for like the cheapy internet, but the internet for the next level, I think is only $10 more. So I might up it depending on if, I feel like even just for like a peace of mind for me, you know, <laughs> I feel like I'm stressed. <laughs> Made progress on a short story. My first fiction piece in years feels vulnerable, exciting. Oh, Heather, that is so exciting. Especially for it being your first fiction piece in years. Oh. I love that you went back, like, went back to fiction. Oh, that's so great. I was reading Heartstopper and the next window had to bed. Ooh, very nice, very nice. I haven't read that one yet, but I have, is that the one with the TV show on Netflix? Is that, is that the one? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the one, but it always sounds so good. I've been in such a reading slump, but I've tasked myself lately, this year, to read one book a month. Currently, I'm reading Soulmates, um, like Soul, like Korea Soul. And uh, I have more books to read after that, so. I always try to give my characters scene time, even if they seem irrelevant. Yeah, scene time is really important. I was still at first trying to gather up my ideas, but once I got into it, I was writing Storm. I got over 500 words. Heck yes, that's great. That's great. Uh, Fixing my fiction, hello. Thank you for coming. Um, I got 786 words. I'm shook. <laughs> you you were writing storm as well. Oh my gosh, so many writing storms. And I think this is in reference of like staring at the computer screen because I think that's what like because what I said. But if it's if I'm blurry because not because of your eyeballs, maybe because of YouTube. Let me know. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually had to spend spend the first sprint getting my child ready for bed. What the heck am I saying? Ready for the day because she finished her breakfast. Oh, Heather, where are you from? I'm trying to think if I know geography enough, like with time zones and stuff. Are you in Australia? That was a guess. Don't answer. It was a dumb guess. I don't think that's right. But I don't know. It might be Australia. I don't know. Not England, though, because Caitlin is here or she was here. And this is very late for Caitlin. So. I know it's not there. I'm gonna say Australia. Final answer, locking it in. <laughs> and you might have actually said it to me at one point, and I'm just remembering in, and, and you know, time. It's not my knowledge, it's just my anyway. I ate dinner, fixed the scene that needed fixing, and started making some cinnamon hot chocolate. Ooh, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. If you guys are ever in Vegas, go to go to Earl's sandwich, a <laughs> hot promo. That's so funny. You can adjust your quality. And, oh, you can. Oh, well, that works. Hopefully it does. That would be really nice if it worked. Um, lasagna. Ooh, I love that. That sounds delicious. 
Uh, for dinner, I, well, I haven't had dinner yet. I had a Wendy's chicken sandwich, which is not the best. I have been eating out, like, not a lot, which I'm proud of for me. Um, but I did have Wendy's today. <laughs> but I, that's not, that wasn't really my dinner. It was more like my lunch. So I'm probably going to have dinner after this, which could be my sandwich. It could be chicken and broccoli if I feel like cooking, which at 10 o'clock at night, I don't know if I will. <laughs> I made a brown sugar ham sub on top. We have a chef over here. That sounds delicious. I'm so jealous. Can I come to your house for dinner? <laughs> um, I'm doing some diamond paint. Oh, I, those look so cool. I do have editing to do later, but puppies needed some free time first. Diamond paintings look amazing. I almost bought one because I wanted to like pick up a hobby now that I'm here. Um, I picked up Just Dance instead, so... <laughs> But they sound like diamond paintings look so cool. I'm having dinner and finishing an art commission. No writing just yet. Oh, art commission's so fun. What did you have for dinner, my friend? I added some details from the ocean template for this book with 35 words. I'm using one stop for writers for descriptions. Great. Love that. Also, you guys said to start a timer for when, um, like, you know, to, to, your break which I didn't remember until just now but I'm gonna start a five minute timer so I can power through these rest of them and then we can start to our next sprint I had a bagel with cream cheese my daughter and I had chocolate chip muffin grapes and an apple for breakfast oh that sounds so good oh I read that wrong daughter had chocolate chip I get you also I've just been getting on the bagel trend I've I never liked bagels but my parents like introduced me to like whipped cream cheese. Oh, did I? I think I blurred there. I looked down at my phone and I was like, like um, pausing like as I am. I thought I was frozen. I think I blurred there though. My computer jumped. Um, I have just been like getting on the bagel trend. And there's so good whipped whipped cream cheese, so good as well. Oh my gosh! But that sounds awesome. I remember getting, I do have one. I just don't know any recipes for them. Like, I need to look up recipes. And if you have so many fun, healthy, easy recipes, let a girl know. I'd love to hear. DM me because I am not that much of a cook, but uh, I do want to get better, especially with healthy stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just entered the live stream. Are you writing? budding writer who only wrote a novel here from the Philippines. Oh my gosh, well, welcome. All right now I'm working on book four in my young adult romance series. So um, very exciting. Are you going to be working on anything? Let us know. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I'm still good. My computer is like freezing up, but I don't think the live stream is. At least not on my phone. I'm about 20. Is that what that little symbol means? Like about? I've never known. But I've always translated it in my head as about 26k in, aiming for 80k. Anyway, that sounds great. That's really exciting. Love that. I dried fried bologna sandwich. I'm making chorizo beans and cilantro. Oh my gosh, you are also a chef over here. All the chefs. I make like vegetable soup, chicken and ramen. <laughs> like, I, I love this. I love this. I'm getting so many good ideas. 41,000 words, Monique, crushing it. Oh, my comments jumped. Oh, there we go. Just trying to say my blurb. Blurbs are the worst. <laughs> I hate blurbs. Um, so best of luck to you on that. I'm planning on publishing on my blog, Wattpad and Ink. Ink it. Ink it. Oh, that's super cool. Especially Wattpad. It's going to go great. I'm excited for you. And you said in February, right? I'll keep my eye out for it. I remember what it was like the first two weeks in my own place. I went crazy with groceries the first time, pizza for every meal for the first few days. I feel that. I feel that. I feel like I haven't been eating a lot, mostly because, like, I take midday naps, so, like, my lunch gets thrown off. Um, and my coffee in the morning makes me not hungry for breakfast, but I've been trying to do, like, a bagel for breakfast or, like, like cereal, pancakes. Um, I tried ramen, and I... And for some reason, that didn't really taste very well. But I think it's because I bought the wrong kind of seasoning. But I went grocery shopping, and I just didn't get enough. So I need to go back. You know, it's fine. <laughs> and I feel like I eat the same meals. Like, 
pancakes and bagels and cereal and ramen and chicken and ramen. You know what I mean? It's like the same things. I don't deviate much, which is a bad thing. Because what if one day I get sick of that stuff? Then what do I eat? We got to work on our palate. <laughs> I really want to write for the next friend, but I have to read Shakespeare for class. I want to cry. Oh, what Shakespeare, though? Like, is there, like, a specific um, play that you have to read? Uh, Grayson, hello. Not too many more that's friend currently eating dinner and trying to write. Alexa, long time no chat. Hello, hello. I don't remember I saw you come in. Um, what are you having for dinner? I'm outlining our Eve series. I have an idea for this year. Go, I found your lives. You the end of the first friend. You got I took a break from cooking and get some rowling. Yes. Yay, I'm glad you're here. It's been a while since I've done a sprint, but it was a good start. How long are we going until tonight? 10 o'clock. So, yes. That is hard, yes. You do not want to do filler, so I completely agree. Um, it can be hard for me. I wish that was my problem. Like, but I, I sent my book to my editor, and I'm like, I'm looking for stuff to cut. So if something doesn't seem necessary, please tell me. And she's like, it all seems necessary. I'm like, fudge. <laughs> so you got a long book coming. It's fine. I might try adding a new subplot with a prologue and an earlier start point from the beginning. Oh, that's a good idea as well. That's a good idea as well. Um, that's the one. There are four graphic novels and they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, the gra the covers for the graphic novels are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. That is our timer. I've been talking for five minutes. But I just love chatting with you guys. <laughs> it's just so nice. Oh, there's so many comments I want to get to. Okay. We'll come back. Uh, what do you also said to star, like where I leave off? But the only problem is I feel like I'll come back and we'll have even more like comments from the, you know, give sharing our word count stuff. And so I don't know. So I might just keep just giving my reactions as I am. Oh, shoot. There we go. And then we can just start fresh when the sprint returns, you know. <sighs> I just love chatting. I love chatting almost as much as I love writing. <laughs> All right, it's 25 minutes on the clock. I almost said 25 words on the clock. 25 minutes on the clock. Um, and we'll check back. Don't forget to hit that like button on this stream. And uh, in three, two, one, let's get writing.
Okay. <clears throat> How do we do for that one? Also, like, you know, like we're used to, let me know if I am blurry or, oh, I forgot to change the banner. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> Uh, let me know if anything's wonky on the screen, but let me know your word count as well. I finished that scene with the continuity error, which 10 points to me. <laughs> um, I'm on a new scene that needs editing. I'm working my way back from, uh, from book four. So I have 36,000 words of book four written and I had to stop because I had to go back to book three, but I, uh, I um, started from the beginning of book four, reading through it, and I am now on page 82 of 122. So I'm working my way back to the present of where I left off initially, and uh, we're, we're going from there. So my goal is to have it finished written, Finished written, fin finished written, finished written. No, my goal is to have it. Is that right? Have it finished. I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> my goal is to have it written. Um, maybe that's what I didn't need both those words. Written. Um, actually, I don't really have one. Initially, I'd said the end of January, end of January, but it just doesn't seem realistic. But that would be ideal because then I could send it to my editor. So. We might hold out hope. It's only the sixth. But then again, I have to balance like book three and book four. So like mm. book three, I have a video about my writing coming. Um, actually, it's going to be a while uh, because I have my apartment videos coming. But I'm, I have how many comments left? I have 23 comments to work through in book three. So um, then it's done, and then I'm going to get off to my proofreaders, and, you know, so that's good. That's going to be easily done by the end of January. I just feel like I would love to also have book four done by the end of January, which is very ambitious, given the fact that I'm only at 36,000 words, so we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think, I think I was right here. Stuck on a scene where I know what I want to happen, like the outcome slash takeaway, but I have, I can't figure out how to make it happen in a natural way. I hate when that happens. Like, you know, the point of the scene, but you don't know how to really get there. Oh, well, it'll come to you. It'll come to you. I fully believe it. There's too much commotion in my house right now. It's hard for me to focus. Oh, I feel you, Sarah. Oh my goodness. Hopefully things just quiet down uh, and we can get back on track soon. But I feel you. That was me. That's actually why I stopped streaming because my house was just always so chaotic. Like not in a terrible way. It's not in a bad way. But it was just chaotic enough that I could not focus for like live streams and stuff. Ugh. Okay. My chair sucks. Oh, and like I cannot sit in it for more than a few. Actually, I've been in it for a few hours now, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I'm in this sprint with two minutes left because I finished a scene and got 703 words. Yay! That's amazing. Also, I love it when like you can finish a scene right before the timer goes off. That's very satisfying. Whew, working on copy editor tonight, boring but necessary. Ah, I think I think that's great. That's great. My copy edits. I also have copy edits waiting for me, but I'm doing the fun part of drafting first, which I think I'm going to switch over to copy edits for the next sprint. So working on this blog post, but it's going pretty well. Yay. 558 words added, almost done with chapter 28. Awesome. I got distracted. That sprint, my cats were fighting and I really wanted a cup of tea. My family are sleeping and it's so cold here. I'm trying to find blankets. Oh, oh my goodness. Hopefully you found some. I had to skip ahead to another scene because I just couldn't think it through at the moment. Honestly, that's probably the best. You know, instead of stalling out and getting stuck, um, that's what I do. I just come back. Literally, I'm looking at a thing I wrote uh, in book four. Something more with this scene, perhaps? Question mark. I'm moving on. I do that in brackets when I'm like so like done, <laughs> um, and I can't figure it out in the moment. But so that's what I do. So I understand. 
Would you like to see the cover for my book? I would love to. Oh my goodness. I would love to, love to, love to. Uh, if you want to DM it to me. 511, finished one chapter and started the next. Oh, that's exciting. So exciting. Uh, 1,452 out of 2,000 for the day. One more sprint. I should be at my goal. Ooh, love it. Um, do you set that, did you set that goal for just today or is that like an everyday goal? I'm curious to know. 729 words. Great job. Things are ramping up almost to act three in my young adult sister witchy book. Yay for Act 3, though. Yay. Oh, my gosh. I love when things start to ramp up. That little cusp from Act 2 to Act 3 oh, is so good. <laughs> uh -huh. Finished your reading eight scenes. Wow. Great job. A good reader over here. Dang. I only got about 325 words. I'm working into a trauma scene that will help push some characters forward. And I'm so excited to continue it in the next sprint. Oh, yes. I love that. I love that for you. And I love that you're excited about it. I found a lot of blankets and buried under them at the moment. Nice and cozy. <laughs> lovely. Lovely. I could go for a blanket right now myself. And a cup of hot chocolate. Uh, I could go for that. As, I, yes. <laughs> So where, where do you find your cover designers? I'm starting to look for someone to do my book cover, but I have no clue where to start. <sighs> I can't remember where I found my cover designer. I've only used one. No, that's a lot. I've used two. Um, when I had, if you guys are like have been around for a while, Water Friends 4 had a different cover initially, and I had it changed a year after on its one year anniversary, I want to say. Or was it? Yeah, one. It's one year anniversary, I would say. I think. Um, but I think I found my cover designer. So this is what I recommend doing. <laughs> I don't know if this is how I found her, but this is what I usually recommend to people. So find books that you like, mostly indie published books. Um, if you haven't, like, you know, that's probably where you want to go. Find indie published books with covers that you like. And then in the on the Amazon page, you can open up like the Kindle look inside. Um, and then like look at their copyright section. That's usually on the front of their book. So that's usually like a still available in the look inside um, in the sample that they give you. And in the copyright section, it they sometimes tell you where their cover, like who their cover designer is. So it's an easy way to just kind of figure out like, you know, who designed the cover that they that you enjoy. And, um, you know, then you can like Google that cover designer, find their website, find their email and email them and check out their schedule and stuff. That's what I recommend doing. I don't remember who told me that. Um, and I can't remember if that's where I found my cover designer or not. But yeah, usually the copyright page of books that with covers that I enjoy. If I were to look for a cover designer, that's how I would find them. So it was so nice to meet you all. I will see you all in the next reading sprint. Thanks again, Sarah. Good luck. Oh, thank you for coming. Have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or night. We are streaming again next Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So for any of you who are listening, come join us in as well. We are still going for about another hour and a half. So get all the writing vibes in, which might be we might be doing five sprints then because i don't think two more sprints are going to take us well then again two sprints did take us an hour and a half i don't know <laughs> i sent it to you on instagram oh i'll look at it in the next sprint i'm excited i love a good hot chocolate with peppermint candy inside of marshmallows oh i don't think I, i'm not a big peppermint person but sometimes it does sound I, then again never tried peppermint hot chocolate so maybe my life would be changed. I am like past the season for it because peppermint hot chocolate's really big in Christmas time, but I can always make it myself. I've been wanting to make iced coffee at my house because I have a Keurig. And even though I would brew hot coffee, you can pour like a, do like a little amount of hot coffee, put it in ice, put milk in it. I think it would be good. I think I might try blocking it. <sighs> I gotta breathe it's funny my it's just funny if anyone needs a suggestion amygdala amygdala i probably i think i pronounced that right I, that's a science of that's your brain right like your i don't know <laughs> design 
Woods is an amazing cover designer. Well, that's great to know. Good to know, good to know. Yes. And then I found a cover designer through a pre-made cover site, like her style, and she had her website linked to her page from the pre-made site. That's a great idea. That's a fantastic idea. I didn't even think about doing that. Um, yes, pre-made sites are great because when I do have their name on it, then you can just like go to their website and order a custom one. You don't gotta get the pre-made. I have good news. I have one chapter left, last one last chapter to edit before I submit it to my beta readers. Oh my gosh, I cannot read. Before I, before I submit my beta readers form to someone, and then after that, I'm kind of getting an editor, which is going to be pricey. That is exciting. Oh my gosh, so many fun steps are coming. Oh, yay. I'll be here every Friday. Oh, perfect, perfect. Normally, I don't stream on, like, well, before. I didn't stream on Fridays. I think I used to do, like, Thursdays or was it Sundays. I used to do both, Thursdays and Sundays. I'm about to sneeze. I didn't feel it coming. I used to do two streams a week, and I dropped it down to one, and then I, I never used to do Fridays, but apparently Fridays are the day that is best for everybody, which makes sense. I had a super long nap yesterday afternoon, so glad I did. It's 1.30 in the morning here, and it's going to be a long day with little to no sleep. My friend, I'm glad you had a nap as well. I love naps. Naps are so good. <laughs> I think I have a nap about every day. I just need them to function. Especially because I stay up so late. What about Friday? Yes, I'm doing streams on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So, uh, yeah, every Friday unless, like, something comes up in personal life-wise or things like that. But, uh, yes, Fridays, Fridays, Fridays. I wanted to do a day, like, a solid day. So, like, you can always consistently plan stream with Sarah on Fridays. I should have done Saturdays. Stream with Sarah on Saturdays. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Yes. Yeah, ooh, ooh. Exciting. Oh, yes, then it's gonna be the perfect time then. Naps are life. I don't know how, I, I love naps. I love naps. <laughs> well, yay. Um, are we ready to hop in to our next sprint -a Rooney? Oh, why did I do that? Into our next sprint. <laughs> um, let's load her up. Let's load her up. Oh, it's really weird because I never nap. Like, it's like my body can't nap. I've tried loads, but just end up staring at the wall. I feel that. Sometimes there are times that I cannot nap. I just cannot fall asleep. And that's so upsetting to me every time that it happens. Um, but oh, I just love them to death. Especially like when you get so tired and you just like, you know, you just want to close your eyes and clock out for a bit. It's nice. <laughs> 25 minutes on the clock for sprint number three. Don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, we'll see where we end up. I'm going to switch projects now. So, oh, wait, we have more comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My after work plan was a nap until I saw your sprints. Oh, I am so like uh, honored that you skipped a nap for me. <gasps> I'm so honored. I tried napping and end up going through a full sleep cycle. That's so funny. <laughs> Naps only happen to me when I'm sick. Understandable, understandable. And I mean, it's just allergies. So, you know. <laughs> uh, and oh yeah, I don't know if I missed it. That's weird that it's not showing up. Hmm, it was weird. Hmm. Well, hopefully if you restart the browser, it'll pop up. Um, let's start our 25 minute sprint um, in three, two, one. Let's get sprinting.
All right. How do we do? I switched over to my client work because I just wasn't really in the mood to work on my copy edits. Um, they're kind of more complex, the ones I have left. I worked through all the easy ones. So the ones that I have left are more complex and I don't really feel like doing them right now. <laughs> so I switched over to my manuscript that I am critiquing tonight. Um, yeah, I'm just reading. Easy peasy, I'm squeezy. I'm hoping to get a lot done before I have to go to bed tonight. So my mom is coming over. We are going to have a little sleepover. We're watching Elvis. I have already watched it once, but we're, we're re-watching it because she wanted to watch it. So um, I don't remember where we left off the other day, but we're currently watching that. I'm also watching this K-drama. It's called The Glory on Netflix. Did not realize it's like in two parts. Like part two doesn't come out until March, which I'm very upset about. Um, but it's so good. And it's not the light, the kind of light and fluffy K-dramas that I love. Um, so I'm very shocked that I'm enjoying it so much. I'm enjoying it so much. <laughs> I wanted to come up here because we have, uh, is it Ami or Amy who popped in to say hello? Um, let me know, let me know. Uh, does anyone else listen to music while they write? I can't help but get being distracted just a little though enough to karaoke. I personally like um, you and uh, I cannot focus on it. And it's impossible. So I listen to mashups. Um, sometimes I'll listen to like K-pop, um, the playlist or the, the radio station on Pandora, the K-pop station. Um, but lately I've been listening to 2022 mashups. I have three that I love. Okay. I'll give you one of them. So the one that I absolutely adore is by Andy Wu Musicland. It's like Glimpse of Everything 2022 mashup. So good. It's like 10 minutes long. They're all, all the mashups that are like 10 minutes long, and they're so good. So good. Um, and it's like just chaotic enough that it's a little bit of a, it's like a little distracting, but it also helps me focus. Like, you know what I mean? There's different beats and stuff. It's it's really good. You just gotta listen to it. Trust me. I hit 10k. It isn't much. I previously had a hard time getting words on the page. It feels like I'm back in the game. 10k is great. I am so happy for you. That's amazing. I put on Disney piano music and wrote about 673 words. Disney piano music must be like amazing then because look at you go. Oh my gosh. I got a brain fog, so I just edited in my Kindle Vela story. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's turn that ticker off. That's what they call them. They call them tickers, but I don't really get it. Ticker? How is it ticking? It's just scrolling, you know? It's not ticking. It's weird. Anyway, uh, but very cool for editing the story. Hang on, I gotta figure out where my comment went. There you go. I just did research work in progress. Nice. 330 words trying to find the right music. Awesome. I'm making bookmarks with character art instead of editing the draft. I love that though. I love that you're making bookmarks with character art. That's fantastic. Also, Nicolette hit the goal for the day, so I'm going to read the next sprint. Yay! What are you reading? I'm curious. I'm a bit further into the scene, and now one of my main characters gets confronted with the consequence to his decision, and it's so good. <sighs> the consequences of my own actions. I love that so much. <laughs> consequences are fun to write. Finish the schedule tomorrow's blog post. Yay! Uh, just saw the banner. Our main characters named are Josiah Bishop and Imogen Grayson. And no one knows that since my channel, I refer to them as J Bishop and I Grayson. Ooh, we get the inside scoop. My One of my characters' last name is, is Bishop as well. It's H Hudson Bishop. Um, so I love that. That'll, that's so cute. Hello, hello. So glad you could pop in. <laughs> I mean, hey. The night's still young. <laughs> I love how close to your family you are. It makes me happy. I'm that close to my parents too. And it's such a joy to see someone else feel the same way. I love it. I love it. I'm I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky with my parents. They are fantastic. And like I did not move out because of my parents. Like I don't want any of that. Somebody actually 
No, it was a different video. So I mentioned my parents. And they are the most supportive and sweet people that I have ever met. They've done nothing but encourage me. And I cannot. I'm just so lucky to have them. Oh, I love them to pieces. Oh, like my dad, like every day last week, he had the whole week off because he's off of work for the holidays. And he came over every day and he helped me put together furniture. And I'm like, oh, I just love you both. Oh. My main character's name is Esmeralda Carter. I love that name. I love that name. 780 words this time just crossed 40K. Awesome. 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 Great job. Next up is working on the romance series. My main character in this book I'm working on is Abby. Oh, I love it. I love it. I have a playlist for a story that I listen to on the drive home from work on nights I'm writing. Oh, that's smart. I love that you do that. I love Kate. Oh, oh, it's so good, right? It's so good. I think my favorite band right now is Monster X. I think is I think that's it's hard because I like a lot of songs. I'm not really like into bands so much as I am into just like a wide variety of songs. Seventeen is really good. Um and TXT, is that the one I'm thinking of? I think that's the one I'm thinking of. I have them on my on my playlist. Or is it 17 I'm thinking of? I I feel like I'm just not into the bands so much as I am into like the songs. I've never been really a band stan, like even outside of K-pop. Um I don't know. I can't find the band that I'm thinking of. So, but anyway, I love the two of K pop as well. <laughs> I'm about to pop off. <laughs> Finished a chapter, wrote 2,844 tonight. Monica, thanks so much, Sarah, for the motivation tonight. That's all for me. Good night. Have a great night as well, Monica. Sweet dreams. Oh, how fun. The book is still part of you. My characters are Melania, Santiago, and Scott. Ooh, very fun names. I love it. <laughs> I have seen so many main characters. Haha, <laughs> one of the male male is ice and the female is a smudge on the computer. Is it like Lillian? Why? I like that. The main character's name is Ale oh, Alexei. Alexia Kremer. Nice. My main oh, oh no, not not Alexa. No. Uh, <laughs> my main character is her name is Gemma S Settler. If you guys watched my vlog, I spelled her name wrong, her last name wrong. I spelled it wrong in book one, so I can't change it. It's spelled Settler, but I meant to spell it Settler. And I'm so mad about it still. I usually listen to metal, rock, and classical. That's a, a great variety. Depends on the scene, the point of view character. Well, that's so fun. I love that. Word count 34,000 with 724 at that sprint. Nice, nice. Still going. We have one sprint left. And I think, uh, yes, you just answered. It's so cool. Which I think we might have time for a short one at the very end. Um, so. Hello. Thank you for popping in. I've been well. How have you been? Um, so I'm not the author to you. Yeah, we're just getting all the main character names right now. We're getting all the inside scoops. I don't know why I said that weird. Scoops. Finished reading Anastasia by Sophie Lark. The sprint took me six days and I'm happy to be done. Is it, was it a bad read or was it a good read? Happy to be done it makes me think it was not as good. I am waiting for, what's the book called? Chain of Thorns? by Cassandra Clare. I should know this. I'm a shadow hunter. Like, I'm in the fandom. Um, but it's coming out at the end of January, January 31st, I believe. And I'm so excited for that book. Anybody else read Cassandra Clare books? Because, like, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. Uh, oops, I remember this one's first. Like, can you please? Is it hard to write there after being in the shed, after writing in the shed so long? It's not hard at all. It's it's really nice. It's really nice. I haven't been in my shed for a long time. Um, so it's, you know, um, I don't know what I was going to say. I haven't been, it's because it's been cold. So it, it's kind of easier to be away from the shed because it's not like I've been able to be in it. But um, it's so nice here. 
Everyone talking about how great their parents. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Big bang. Did I miss something? It's okay. I feel like I'm. I feel like I might have missed something. Ah, uh, hello, hello. Thank you for popping in. I went through a monster X a couple years ago. The music is so good. Oh, so I haven't. I haven't heard Dreamcatcher yet. Now I'm putting it on my uh, list to look up. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I I, will, I think Monst X is probably like the most I have on my playlist right now. And then 17 is probably next. Is 17 the, the group that sings hot? See, I know the songs, but I don't know the bands to the songs. I'm just, I'm like the worst. I have three chapters before I finish your book. Oh my gosh, Paige Spruce. Oh, I love the name Paige. I love the name Paige. Oh, Emily, hi. Thank you for popping in. We have about one sprint left, so you're perfect timing. You are perfect timing. That is literally what I just said. But <laughs> so, oh my gosh. it's uh, That's probably like the biggest fail that I've ever had. So, like, stupid. <laughs> How many pages is good gold? I don't know. I feel like everybody edits at different pages. Pages. Paces. <laughs> So I don't know what would be a good goal. You can always aim a lot, like say like two and then see, you know, I think like you need like a good like baseline to start from, you know what I'm saying? Is it Chain of Iron or was Chain of Iron book two? There was ch Chain of, I don't know, what was book one? Chain of Gold was book one. I think Chain of Iron was book three and I think book two. I think book three is Chain of Thorns, I think. It doesn't matter. I think it doesn't sound like it should be right. I'm looking it up. It doesn't sound like it should be because like gold, iron, chain of, is it? Yes, chain of thorns. Okay. The cover is gorgeous for it. I'm so pumped. Oh. Why do I feel like I keep having to sneeze like while I'm on, like I'm talking? Why can't I sneeze like behind the scenes when we're sprinting? Or like have that feeling. Had a lot of world building information dumping with a solid four to five stars. Ooh, good to know. Good to know. Oh, I see. I didn't realize that wasn't a connection to that topic. Okay, I get you. I get you. I get you. Oh, I'm trying to think if I've, if I've heard any songs by Big Bang. Actually, I think I think there's one song of it on Just Dance, and I think that's what I'm thinking of. I think that's by Big Bang. I don't remember. I'm, I think I'm having, I have a terrible memory, you know, first of all, but, um, we'll start our next sprint in a few minutes. Also speaking of main characters, mine are Valencia and Felix. Ooh, I like it. Oh, my nose, you guys, it's fine. Just don't look. <laughs> I'm, I did, I did. I'm going to like properly announce on Monday and Monday's video, but, uh, I, uh, I, yeah, I did move. <laughs> I love the Shadowhunter Chronicles. Oh, this fine. The characters on them are on my, book, my bookshelves. Also, Will Harrowville is beautiful. Literally, my first ever fictional character crush. I have the old covers. I have like the very original covers, which I'm really kind of bummed about because I do love the new spines. <sighs> They're gorgeous. But um, yes, oh, love, love, love. Uh, I was just going to tell you this one. Did I freeze? I hope I didn't freeze. Also, yeah, I just didn't know that was in connection to the K-pop conversation. You already know my main character's name. <laughs> I can't announce it publicly because I plan to do a guest. I love that you're doing that for one. But one of his eventual best friends' name is Luna. Nice. Um, I'm waiting for the third book in the Chain of Gold series. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, so excited. I, I hope it ends well. I really do. I just want you to know that your videos are oh my gosh, Rose, I'm so happy they got you through a writing slump. Yay. Also done my last art commission, so yay. Oh my gosh, great, great. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I thought so, but I couldn't, couldn't remember for sure. Uh, Thanks for the sprint tonight. Thank you so much for joining. Have a great rest of your night and enjoy dinner. Um, I'll go fast 
oh, we only have a few comments left. Great. I was gonna say, I'll go fast to these last ones, but we're almost at the bottom. Worked the past timer because I was on a roll, but I just finished chapter 28. Only have more chapters to left to write in this book. Oh my gosh, you're crushing it. You're crushing it. Well, I don't know they writing a slug to and that is all. It's just great. It's so great. He's so great. I love him. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> All right, well, let's slow up our timer. I think, actually, this might be the last one. It depends on when we leave off. I don't want to do math. I could do math. Well, is that 45? We might have time. We might not have time. We'll see. Um, this is going to be the fourth sprint of the night. My ticker is going to say final sprint of the night, but, you know, we will, we will, you know. Okay, three, <laughs> two, one, let's start sprinting.
All right. Ooh, how do we do? My eyes are so tired. Oh my gosh. Actually, that's too low now. I moved my chair down during that sprint, I think. I don't remember. I just feel like that one got me uh, for eyeballs. <laughs> my eyeballs are burning. Uh, I just was continuing reading. Got more reading in. I have a lot before I finish, so I don't know if I'll finish tonight, but I'm just going to keep plugging away. I took a nap today, so like I said earlier, so I probably will be up pretty late tonight. Not late, late, maybe like one, maybe. So nothing crazy, but I think that's my game plan. And then tomorrow will be a writing day. If I, if after I finish my client work tomorrow. So, yeah. Uh, oh, my cursor is on the wrong computer screen. There we go. So will anything be changing to your videos going into the future? Um, not really. The editing style might change a little bit now that I have more freedom to do more like kind of fun shots, like for clips and stuff. But the content-wise is pretty much going to be staying the same. Coming up, we have like moving vlogs and stuff. So that's more lifestyle than it is writing related. Um, but once I am settled, which I'm settled now, writing should be coming back. I probably think I'm going to also uh, make my videos kind of more geared like I used to. Like each video had a topic kind of. Um, so, yeah. So nothing really, nothing really that different. I'm brainstorming for my short story collection. I think I might know what the last story is going to be. Now just to figure out the others. Ooh, exciting. How many short stories do you think you want to have? I'm curious. Thank you for coming, Joanne. It was such a pleasure. My current word count is 203K, which makes for a lot of editing. Yes, that's going to be a lot of editing, but that's a great word count. I have finished the first draft on the second. Oh, congratulations. Oh my gosh. Oh, and working on the second draft. That's awesome. Holy cow. My current word count is 96,000. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, what are you most excited for going forward? Like in the 2023? I don't know. I feel like the massive exciting thing that I had been so stressed about and excited for was moving. So now that I moved, I don't know what I'm most excited for. Just to maybe develop a routine because I don't have one yet. <laughs> so that, that would be exciting to develop a routine. Current word count, 27,155. I started with 26,333. Oh my gosh, look at you. Especially for it being so late. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Came up with titles and got more distracted. <laughs> Did you find any titles that titles that you liked? I hope so. Current word count is 23,000 and added 312. That sprint. Awesome. That was a good sprint. I think that might have been our last one though. I don't know if I have another one in me unless I just do it for you guys. If you guys want one more like five minute like rush sprint. Um let me know in the comments. <laughs> three more pages. I'm done with three pages, Vanessa. <gasps> Yay. I have 1,299 words tonight. That's good, though. Why, ugh? That's amazing. I'm working on the, I'm working on the word like about halfway through. <gasps> that's not one that I thought about. But that's a great one. Ooh, that's a good one. Like for crutch words, I think was what you're talking about. I think my crutch word that's like really bad in this draft was back, which is weird because back has never been a crutch word for me or an overused word, I should say. Um, so that's very funny. I figured out if a part of my project planning was going to work and took, oh, I see, and took a six minute break. Nice. Well, hopefully it works. 769, which is 2,279 for the night. Awesome. You guys are crushing it tonight. I love that for you. At around 1,300 during the stream. Celeste, awesome job. Current word count, 20,814. Oh, you guys are crushing it. 
like, yeah. Well, for the theme of the short story, short story collection is seven deadly sins, so fairly lengthy stories. Or eight, actually, considering that the last one wraps it up. Ooh, I love that. I love that. Are you living close to your family? I know you're all really close. Oh, if you move far. No, I'm about like 15 minutes away. So not far at all. Not far at all, which I'm excited about. Um, that means they can come over all the time. <laughs> I'm totally, I mean, <laughs> you're so sweet. I'm totally down forever. I would probably just be on my phone the entire time. So, uh, you know, it's up to y'all. <laughs> I'm a bit wise. I'm okay if you're calling it night. I got you. I got you. Thank you for coming, my friend. Sort of. I like a couple. I'm mostly trying to come up with 11 titles that go together so I can lock up the series. Is it, are, you, are you planning for 11 um, serials? Is that, is that the word? Serials? I think that's the word. Are you planning for 11 then? Um, how do you come up? Uh, how do I come up? With, well, for the most likely two series, I took the trope that my book had and I kind of just like played around with what would be like a title that kind of showcases the trope um clearly you know like for my title I for my series I um I sorry I'm, I'm I'm you can tell that I'm starting like shut down because my brain is not working for my series I wanted a title that people would be able to like have like a you know reaction to without having to click on the um amazon page like for like can't catch my breath like you know that's not clear what the story is going to be about but um teaching the teacher's pet or rebelling with the bad boy like you can you kind of like get what the story is going to be about um so that was my goal was to just have a title where it's clear what the story is going to be about so um, that's kind of how I do it. I just take a trope and brainstorm what sounds good, you know. I'm happy that you made this stream spread and I learned something new always with your office. Oh, I'm glad you can join us. Oh, that's awesome. Some of my characters are the characters' names. So you need to see if I'm saving them too much. But that's something I struggle with as well. I had an editor comment once, like, nobody says names this often in a conversation. I'm like, oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Uh, so I'm like, gotcha, gotcha. I don't want to go yet. Five more minutes. Okay, we can do five more minutes. 9 p.m. here. Yeah, it's almost 10 here, which is not late at all. Um, but I've been staring at a computer screen for much too long. By the way, Reads is a free website with random titles uh, if you want to get ideas to get started. Oh, they do. I forgot about that. They do. It's really nice. And even Googling, like, title generator will really help, too. No worries, get your thanks. Phew. <sighs> I have two projects. I have books. I have a six book. Five, uh, yes, I did that read that right. I have a six book, five novella short story romance series. I'm also working on a 40 episode first season for a supernatural serial. Those are going to be very short. Well, interesting. They both sound really cool. I'm really excited to follow you along on that. Um, and I love how they both, I love the Supernatural cereal as well. That sounds really good. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm in the future. It's the 7th. <gasps> it's the 7th at 1 p.m. I love that for you. Hopefully it's a good day. I hope, I hope the future is nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I'll load up the five minute timer and we'll go for one last final pour your heart into it sprint how about that i think we can do it i think we can do it what time is it it's only 9 52 we're gonna have we're gonna have plenty of time um for the shrouded curses series all the titles i've had the word shrouded or curse i love that i think for series that's really cool like for example the cassandra claire books chain of gold chain of iron chain of thorns Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess. I feel like I would love when um, authors do that and like book series do that too. I don't blame you, my friend. Enjoy your nap. Enjoy it. Live it to the fullest. Um, I'm excited too. All right, five minutes on the clock. Final sprint of the night. 
one last pound it all out. That sounded weird. Um, in three, two, one. Oh, I, I, let's go. I, I did that wrong. I said one as I clicked it, and I didn't do that right. Anyway, good luck.
All right, that's a wrap on our first live stream of the year. Let me know how you did in our five minute sprint. Let me turn on my banner that says this. I want to know how you did. We have 34 people here. If you made it this far, you are troopers. I love you to pieces. Get ready for next Friday. We are sprinting every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, if something happens and comes up, I will let you guys know. I mean, obviously, uh, things do come up. But I am going to make this a thing. I wanted to introduce, like, office hours. Um, this year, I don't know who coined that phrase first on Author Tube. I know I saw it somewhere. Um, but... I feel like me streaming midday is probably not even gonna like work because midday is usually when I nap. So I am doing kind of like late night office hours of 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., which I really enjoy. So I miss just kind of talking, and especially now that I live alone, like I feel like I will want that conversation. Do you know what I'm saying? So I absolutely enjoy being here with you and being part. Thank you so much for streaming. I can't wait for next week either. Thank you so much for coming. I came up with a potential midpoint scene for the second book of the series, and I have no idea for titles. Great five minutes. Oh, wow. Thank you for have a great night. Have a great night to you as well, Vanessa. I actually read a bit in these five minutes. Yay. Good night slash evening. Have a great rest of your day as well. Total to 1,327 words. That's amazing. And T hit 65K. Oh my gosh. That five minutes, you needed it because you crushed it. This was so much fun. Even though it's late, I'm going to be exhausted after today. It's three o'clock. Caitlin, I got so much done. I feel like I might hit my dead. I feel like I might hit my deadline. See you next Friday. See you Friday, my friend. See you then. I'm so excited. I figured out why I've set up a certain way. I decided to add what I have. Gotcha. Awesome. 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 I took a break from writing to answer some writer questions for a friend who's interviewing writers for her blog. Oh, that's really exciting. I love that. I wasn't here to write, but glad I caught your first live stream of the year. Oh, thank you for being here, my friend. <laughs> I just said I went around to unwind a little because I'm exhausted. That was at 6 a.m. Oof, yeah. Um, thanks for the sprints. I miss them as well. Thank you so much for coming, Amanda. It's great chatting with you. Yes, Fridays are going to be our day. They're going to be our day. It's going to be great. 96 more words. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I'll hugs to you as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gonna be great and yes they've been i thank you for coming tabitha i've missed you so much um they've been i missed the streams so they're gonna be great thank you thank you thank you and i'm eating and it's 10 p.m so if you want to go for it thank you all so much for coming big virtual hugs to you um i hope you all have a great rest of your morning afternoon or night and have a great weekend bye guys